اوكي سو هلا بدنا نشوف السكيورتي ريسك اناليسيس سوري وي ويل انالايز ذا سكيورتي ريسك سو فيرست اوف اول سكيورتي ريسك اناليسيس ذا فورس فيز اند ديبندز اون اول بريفيوس فيزز ات كونسيست اوف تكنيكس اند ابروتشز فور ديتيرمينينج انديفيدوال اند اوفرول سكيورتي ريسك ليفلز And here we discuss this a pro this process in the following three steps. First of all, we determine security risk. Second of all, we create security risk statements, and third of all, we do the team review of security risk statements. Determining the security risk is the first step. So the risk uh, equation is the multiplication of the asset, threat, and vulnerability. The objective of the security risk assessment is to determine and convey the security risk to the organization's assets. So, first of all, we have in this in this part, uh, we utilize, you know, in the data gathering, I think, we were doing some threat and vulnerability pairings. And now we have threat and vulnerability pairings. So, we can use this to... to find the probability of threat and vulnerability pair so we uh, um, uh, uh, we find the probability okay and we also value the asset affected then we find the impact of this this information is obtained through the data gathering phase طيب هلا عنا uncertainty we always have uncertainty wait did we skip a slide did we skip a slide yeah so we have uncertainty and uh, this is always present so what we do is we want to reduce and control the uncertainty this um, uh, this is done by using the available and historical data So we look into this data and we also utilize some tools which we will discuss later and we also use judgment and we can also use conditional probabilities to reduce the طيب available and historical data uh, we we look into the crime statistics This is the sources that we should look into. And we should analyze from previous security uh, risk assessments. Uh, and we should um, look into other related industries. Uh, you should adjust the data up or down for specific circumstances. and uh, the environment then we should see the past events and historical data provide some indication as to likelihood of similar events now we look into the judgment uh, خلصنا the past and hist uh, historical and available data we want to look into the professional judgment so in here we want to rate specific threats And this assessment team should document their reasons for each likelihood rating. We use various techniques uh, of judgment. So we have the bounding technique. We bound the problem with the best and worst case scenario. And then we develop a probability distribution. So this is the bounding technique. This is an example of the bounding technique. يعني إحنا نعمل lower bound وال upper bound, and then من من then نعمل um, يعني this is the lower bound and the probability distribution. Okay, so the probability that the out power outage is gonna happen. ما تلقت تدخل عندي إيش بدك؟ طيب هلا we look into the tools what are the tools just one second طبعا المايكروسوفت اكسل عنده built in functions فممكن نستخدمها وفي عنا اشي اسمه stat pro plugin includes regression analysis and forecasting ok 
okay includes regression analysis and forecasting this is good to know and we have at risk hadi dhahir inha some software and what it does it replaces uncertain values with probability distributions okay so احنا we want to eliminate uncertainty صح so this software replaces the uncertain values with probability distributions and we also have the risk watch uh, software it also has built in values for uh, many standard vulnerabilities and threats okay بعدين عندنا ال BDSS او ال Bayesian Decision Support System um, what is this the BDSS it integrates the concept of uncertainty into the risk calculations وعندنا ال Excel يا رب أحفظهم طيب هلا خلنا نشوف ال conditional probabilities هون حيكون عندنا example so the conditional probability هو the probability of something happening given that something else has already occurred لأنه some threats can never occur unless something uh, unless a series of events have occurred so let's see how this is uh, applied so for example if we have an ex-employee um, okay احنا, we want to determine the probability that uh, an ex-employee will um, access our system يعني a breach a breach will happen uh, due to an ex-employee أول شيء uh, an ex-employee can't, can't uh, access the same system unless four different events happen first an employee must be terminated second the employee must have the password uh, uh, knowledge third of all the employee must actually have desire to gain access not any ex-employee wants to gain access um, he has to be like angry or whatever and fourth of and fourth event is that the passwords are not changed at this time the employee that was terminated so first we calculate the probability of event one so let's see the historical records and we find that the organization has terminated an average of 300 employees per year so we uh, we put down yani put down this information and we have 300 employees per year طيب, uh, not all employees um, have the password so only 10% uh, okay so of course we need uh, uh, so we have 300 employees per year but only uh, 10% were terminated for a cause okay the other ones are friendly terminations so now we only consider the 30 employees that are terminated with a, a cause because these propose a threat to us so we only consider the employees that cause a threat so for probability of event one we only have 30 out of 300 so i think 30 out of 300 is 10 percent so we have 10 percent and then probability of event two is um can it event two and no he has the password طبعاً, not all employees have the passwords only 13.3 percent of the 30 employees have the password okay so because only system admins administrators have the passwords and only four of them are system administrators okay so the probability of event two is only um 13.3 percent okay uh, 
then we have um, probability of event three is that uh, he must have the desire to actually breach the system so not all of the uh, four system admins want to breach the system sometimes only one of them wants to breach this because hadi it's it's based on judgment it's based on judgment for the average uh, is that ruba elli bikunu ex employees they want to um, breach the system so we multiply uh, so we have 25% so we multiply 4 by 4 25% and we are left with only one system admin طيب what's the event of probability 4 uh, which means it, which is the event that um, the um, um, the the password is not changed by the time of the um, of the uh, uh, termination so we we decide that only 10% of the time uh, we don't change the password uh, or the the employee or ex employee tries to enter the system uh, at the time that we did not change the password so but occasionally 10% of the time uh, the tasks are busy and they are not done okay so the total is 10% uh, of the time so we have so if we multiply 10% by 1 system admin we are left with 0 0.1 system admins with the desire to gain access and uh, passwords are unchanged so the annual breach is um, is uh, I think uh, 30 uh, sorry um 10 percent times um 300 with 100 so we have 10 percent times 30 employees times 13.3 uh, percent times 0 0.25 times 0 0.1 wait okay so this is the probability that the event will happen um, per year um, but I think we have to multiply this by the number of employees. Okay, to make it more clear, uh, uh, employees, okay? 300 employees multiply by um, only 10% of them uh, will will uh, will be um, uh, will be uh, terminated for a cause and uh, only only 13% um, of them 0 0.13 point uh, actually it's 13.3 no, it's 13.3 okay, only only 13% of them will um, only 13% of them will want um, will be uh, system administrators multiplied by only 25% uh, will want to will have the desire to breach the system and multiplied by 10% uh, of the time that they will have the password and the password is also unchanged 
uh, by the time they wanted to breach. So if we calculate this, and then high, so 300 employees per year. طبعاً high it's per year. لأن we use the employees per year. 300 uh, times uh, 0 0.1 percent for the first probability uh, that the, they are terminated for a cause times zero, uh, 0 0.133. Uh, who are system administratives and have passwords times 0 0.25 who actually want to um, access the system times uh, 0 0.1 so they want to access the system and the password is unchanged so it's it's the answer is 0 0.0999 75 or it's almost, almost, yani almost 0 0.1. Okay. So this is the chance per year. This is the amount of breach that will happen per year. طيب, احna, we want this to be um, one, one breach. لأنه less than one breach doesn't make sense. فا, if we want to multiply this by 10, because 0 0.1 times 10 will be one breach. So one breach will happen every 10 uh, if we multiply both sides by 10 صح? so if we multiply 10 times 300 we will have um, 10 times 300 times all of this 10 times 300 times uh, uh, 0 0.1 times 0 0.133 times 0 0.25 times 0 0.1 equals to one breach لأنه we multiply 0 0.1 times 10 so what do we find here equals one breach we find that we need 3,000 employees so 10 times 300 is 3,000 so 300 employees gives us 0 0.1 breach but 3,000 employees will give us one breach. So for every 3,000 employees that are terminated, we have just one breach. And uh, 3,000 employees uh, are terminated, so 300 is per year. We need 10 years. We need 10 years. Oops. We need 10 years to reach one breach. Okay, خلصنا ال ال generating the risk. Okay, generating calculating the risk. هلا we want to generate the security risk statement. How do we generate the security risk statement? It خلنا نشوف نرجع نقرأ. So the security risk assessment produces many values numbers of which to keep track. So we have asset valuation, threat frequency, vulnerability, probability, and impact. There are automated tools that keep track and report the values and numbers. And in the absence of automated tools, an alternative approach is required to track these values. One approach is the creation of security risk statements. Okay, so meta meta نستعمل its security risk statements. أول شيء مكتوب إن 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 ال security risk assessment in general produces many values, numbers, and we want to keep track of these. يعني عنا asset valuation, threat frequency, we have vulnerability, probability, impact. وكل هاي الأشياء um, we want to keep track of and we already have tools for this so we don't need a, secure, uh, a security risk statement but um, in the absence of alt automated tools an alternative approach uh, to keep track of these uh, re, uh, re, to keep track is the security risk statement so uh, a security risk statement is a method of presenting related information in the expression of a security risk. Okay, it, what does it do? It keeps track. It 
keeps track of asset valuation threat frequency vulnerability probability and impact okay this is what the security risk statement does And uh, what it, it's a method of, pre of presenting related information in the expression of a security risk. Okay. Creating security risk statements. How do we create it? So they can be in formal la language to express threat, uh, agents, vulnerability, vulnerability targets, policy violated, assets exposed. This simple approach is useful uh, in smaller scale assessments where there are not many assessments to be made. Also, the statements lack the ability to express the following. So the security risk statements fail to uh, express the impact of the security risk and they also uh, fail to express the likelihood of the scenario and the existing uh, security controls overall security risk it misses the overall security risk and recommended solutions it doesn't have any recommended solutions so another approach to develop a security risk statement that incorporates all these components within a spreadsheet so how can we address all of these components we can use a spreadsheet and then we add the, the high in components that it's supposed to address oops <clears throat> Uh, we, but we can also add a system uh, impact with I. We can also add a system. We can also add an impact and likelihood of the event happening, and also a um, vulnerability the risk risk recommendations. And wow, we should. Okay. Sorry about this. We have the recommendations, so we added the impact, the likely, the impact likelihood, existing security controls, the overall security risk, and the recommendations. So we added the recommendations, so we didn't add these two. Where are they? Existing controls. And... Team review of security risk statements. Okay, so we احنا هلا في آخر step. احنا خلصنا security risk statement. وهلا نعمل team review. In the third task, نعمل generating security risk statements should be divided across the assessment team. Based, for example, يا الله هذا رمضان. صرت من العطش وطلت راح صوتي based for example on areas of study عنا administrative, technical, physical further subdivisions could be established within areas so ايش المقصود هون مش فاهمة 
when a review in Moldova, the task of generating security risk statements should be divided across the assessment team. Uh, okay, it's divided according to its areas of study. Tamam. And uh, further subdivisions can be established. Uh, so for the team members should work on uh, alone, should work alone in small groups to create the security risk statements covering the data assigned to them. Once the draft statements are complete, the team leader should compile and distribute the complete list. But then the entire team will then review the draft statements and arrive at a consensus. So we want to arrive at a consensus. Um, arriving at a consensus is an important step because it ensures that all team members have a chance to express their findings and it, the team members are able to gain perspective of the overall uh, okay so the overall security risk of the organization meta bill consensus useful advice for avoiding overlap we just eliminate whatever is duplicated and common recommendations should be grouped together. Finally, last but not least, we derive the overall security risk and this is derived uh, here by gaining the perspective uh, by uh, arriving at a consensus. The overall security risk management measurement should be consistent with the statement of work. لازم نراجع إيش the statement of work في the last the preparation step, I think. The project definition. The uh, statement of work is uh, a part of the contract that uh, provides the service description and provides the scope of the assessment and the deliverables, okay? So the service that they are providing, what the scope they are providing the service on and what they are delivering by providing the service. So it should be consistent with the statement of work and organizations regulated by information security laws, they HIPAA, the overall security risk should indicate a level of compliance. طبيعي يعني لما نيجي إحنا نعمل analysis the security لازم نتوصل لنفس ال 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 conclusions اللي توصلوا إلها ال organizations. For all other organizations, the overall security risk level should indicate a relative security risk. طيب the overall security risk level should indicate a relative security risk. يعني relative to other uh, other uh, companies from the same industry. يعني ممكن تكون low, medium or high. And the details do not need to be listed. Uh, this is only, uh, this only has to provide the decision makers an indication of their security risk in comparison to their security risk tolerance. يا رب أكون فهمت